Well, well, well. Would you look what the cat dragged? Hey, don't just glance over me like I'm furniture. And what do you even think you're doing here? And why the hell are you covered in blood? Don't tell me they're looking for you out there. And you seriously came here? You're supposed to be terrified of me, given our history and all. And you really just barge in here and... For fuck's sake. Hey, look at me. Look at me. There you go. Looks like you're back now. Stop struggling. You're getting my damn lab all bloody. At least let me finish tending to your wound, hero. Yes, I had to restrain you. I don't want you making a fool of yourself in an attempt to fight your way out of here just yet. As amusing as it would be to watch you fight in this state, it would be a shame if you were to mess up my lab or alert anyone by making unnecessary noise. Seriously. You have to be either desperate or insanely stupid to try and hide from my own minions in here. Perhaps both. Likely both. Oh, don't look at me like that. Did you really think I'd just glance over it? I know you didn't have much time to think it out, but I suppose I should feel insulted by my self-declared arch-nemesis stumbling into my lab all bloody like this. Or maybe it's supposed to be some sort of twisted compliment where you think there's still some good in me. Then again, I always did feel as though you had some sort of soft spot for me somewhere behind that heroic costume. Don't even try to hide it, hero. You're not sly. Don't raise your eyebrow at me like that. Note that I could have killed you the moment you stepped in here. You are entirely at my mercy. I thought you were smarter than this, but it seems you really trust me enough to come in here after getting your ass beat. Or maybe... Maybe you wanted me to finish you off. What an honour, truly. Stop glaring. Twas a jest, dimwit. But I have to admit, I enjoy our fights and would prefer to take you out fair and square. Otherwise, where would the fun be? And that's the only reason I even allowed you to open your eyes again. I'm not usually this gracious towards others, so do not expect this kind of treatment in the future. I could have ended you so easily. You really have far too much trust in the people around you. Luckily, I may be a villain, but I'm not a dirty cheater like most of my minions are. They seriously messed you up, didn't they? I bet they used your kindness to get the better of you. Just so they could say they killed or captured a famous hero. It's stupid, really. I'm not sure why I even bother with them. These days, it's quite difficult to find anyone who actually gives a shit about the state of this forsaken world. Oh, don't be surprised now. Didn't think an evil bad villain like me would care about that kind of stuff, did you? You seriously thought I was actually just here to obtain world domination or whatever? Ah, <sighs> seriously. These government officials really have their grip on you, foolish hero. I bet you think I kill orphans for fun or some other bullshit like it. Judging by your look, I'm not too far off. Oddly enough. Truth is, I am not like that. We're really not all that different, you and I. I see how much you care about the people around you. You may be one of the only heroes that hasn't been corrupted by this capitalistic, money-controlled shithole of a world yet. But your naivety is almost just painful to watch. You really want to see the best in people, don't you? Is that why you've been going soft on me? Did you think you could fix me? Oh, you poor, naive, foolish little hero. That's not how this world works, and eventually you'll have to learn that. It's not all just black and white, and not everyone can be saved. People are rotten, darling. All they care about is their own gain, and nothing but it. You think you're doing good for the sake of the world, but really? You're just so much of a people pleaser, you forget to care about what happens to you. No, I don't give a shit about what happens to you outside of our fun little rivalry. It's just such a waste of your talent to fight for what you've been conditioned to think is right. Have you never questioned what they've been teaching you? Have you never wondered what's been going on inside your forsaken government? 
All the corruption, the money laundering, the under the table bullshit. People fucking themselves into better positions, taking away from actual talent. Exploiting the poor and unfortunate. Using people like you. Draining your talent to make you a mindless slave of their lawless politics. You, my dear, could be so much more. Oh, keep your sorry ass eyes off of me. I'm not sympathising, simply stating facts. I've told you before that I have no interest in you or your kind. Though, I have to admit, you do somehow spark my interest. Perhaps, if you were to join me, I'd keep you as my right hand. I'd treat you well, and anyone who's ever dared to lay a hand on you or use you in any way, I'll show them a whole new world of pain. Don't be scared now, darling. We'd make a pretty decent team, don't you think? Yes, your dirty little government tyrants would be quite disappointed to see you in my arms. Or by my side. But think about the good we could do. We could punish every bad person, steal from the evil rich and spread their wealth amongst the poor. A world where nobody had to live in fear of not being able to feed themselves the next day. Nobody would have to turn to crime to afford a living. And we, on top of it all, assuring everyone is being treated right. We could create such a beautiful world, just you and me. Getting rid of all the bad, all the fear, shame and sadness. We would create a world where policemen could be trusted and judges wouldn't favour sex offenders over their victims. A world where no one would feel entitled to anything that isn't theirs and where everyone could live free and happy. Doesn't it sound tempting? Oh, darling. You really mustn't be surprised like this, terrified even of my ramblings. As a hero, you must realise how most criminals that actually end up in prison are small fish, wishing to feed themselves or their families. And those who are actually causing all the issues? They're hoarding money and paying their way out of prison. They often even make the cops work for them. Isn't it just a terrifying thought? those kinds of people secretly pulling the strings? But not anymore. No longer. I'm tired of it. We're tired of it. So, join me, darling.